Hi guys, it's the Nivs with another video. Thank you to everybody who watched my last video and to all you beautiful, sexy new subscribers, you. Not forgetting the old faithful. I love you too. Anyway, the Ghost Monument. Here's my review. Enjoy. Before we carry on guys, it'd be really good of you if you can hit that subscribe. Um, also, if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up if you do like it. And uh, even more cracking if you hit that notification bell. Right then, let's crack on. The opening title sequence, we got one. Yes. I've been dying for this. Didn't let me down. The psychedelic radiographicness of it, like I said last week, hit home to me and I really, really liked it. It was basic, it was simple, but it was also nicer and good and beautiful to look at. And the music, like I said last week, I love the music and uh, I just thought it was great. I like the way that they just completely didn't dismiss that opening section, then go into the total sequence and then continue with it. Like they've done in previous ones. Like last week I turned around and said that having no title sequence helped. Having it at the beginning and then continue with the story helped immensely in my opinion going on to the story wasn't one of the best stories i've ever seen but it kept me gripped all the way through i found myself like in previous episodes always an episode of doctor who that makes me have a little bit of a chuckle makes me smile makes me have a little bit of a moment i didn't find that in this particular episode nothing that i can remember or stood out made me go <laughs> or at least you know or at least a wind moment but it kept me gripped all the way through. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I like to have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a smile, a little bit of a <laughs> giggle moment. But I didn't find myself doing that all the way through this entire episode. I enjoyed the fact that the Ryan and the Graham uh, characters are starting to bash their heads together. If you know what I mean, they're actually. They're actually fighting with each other in a way, emotionally. Graham's trying so too hard, in my opinion, to get Ryan's affection, if you like. And Ryan's trying too hard to actually push Graham away. Or at least try and act like that spoiled kid, if you like. From my personal point of view, I can see why the character of Ryan is doing this. He probably feels, having no real family of himself, no real mum or dad knocking about... His nan has been there for him. It's always been them too. So when Graham came along, it's just like the, Ryan's lost his nan and all the affection that she just piled on him has now been shared between the two. And I think that's probably Ryan has got a bit of a bee in his bonnet. The Yasmin character, I feel, didn't really do much again this week. But if you go to the when they did a preview to next week's episode, the Rosa Parks episode, I feel that Yas might have a little bit more to do in that episode as she was quite prominent in the trailer. Going back to the story itself with the two protagonists, the man and the woman trying to win the race. I can't talk. I thought they were good characters. Uh, Bill and Ben, Pinky and Perky. You know what I mean? They were close. They obviously knew each other. They obviously had a little bit of a respect for each other, but obviously they just really didn't get on. And I liked the scene at the end where they both walked in together and, you know, no, there was no winner, no loser. Because in a way, I sort of liked both of those characters. I liked her... For just being just no, you know, nobody can nobody can touch me. You know, I'm I'm my family. I'm here for my family. And the other dude was just like, well, it's not his fault. It was his mum, wasn't it? His mum like made him break his like his shoulder and his ankle and stuff like that. You can't trust anybody. Well, it's not his fault. It's just the way he was brought up. So I'm hoping that by the end of it, you know, there's a bit of a mutual respect between the two. Bit of a negative. And that's the Doctor. Hear me out. Not her fault. I thought the Doctor's character was really good, apart from one thing, and that was the over-excessive use of a sonic screwdriver. Especially the... 
to every time she pointed the screwdriver, it was like over. It was. It was. I thought, hang on, is, is that is that? Am I watching Harry Potter here, or am I watching Doctor Who? Everything was all like over exaggerating. Everything she did with the sonic screwdriver, and to the fact, the point where for after the first fifteen minutes. 10, 15 minutes, the Sonic was in every single scene, practically, apart from the final scene. Bit of over-excessive use of the Sonic, and the over-excessive use of the Sonic, if you get me. Look. It's not a freaking magic wand, love. It's a Sonic. You really need to use it every time. Now, the big tamale. The TARDIS. I love the fact that the TARDIS was actually the ghost monument all the time. I really love that fact. It appears every 1,000 cycles, wherever it was. <coughs> and the fact that the TARDIS was actually the ghost monument, the, the finish line, all the time, was a great little, great little thing to add. The TARDIS itself, I love Jodie's reaction to it. Going, oh, hello, you know, touching the, uh, the plaque at the front. And the fact she says, oh, I forgot my key, and the TARDIS door opened. I thought that was lovely. Still, once again, didn't make me smile. just went, mm, mm, that's good. Um, but the interior of the TARDIS, you've de redecorated, and I really love it. I'm not a fan. Sorry, guys. From what I've seen so far of that TARDIS interior... I don't know. It's it's more, it's how I felt probably. I feel the same way how I felt about Matt Smith's first TARDIS interior with that two platform thing going up the steps and whatever. I I hated that. I don't hate this particular TARDIS. I'm just not a fan of it at the moment. Maybe it's because it's the first time I've seen it and I just need to get my head around it. Overall, then guys, the story itself better than last week. The use of the companions still could be better. Um, the, it just the whole past two episodes seem to be focusing on Graham and Ryan, and not really much about Yasmin. In some cases, the Doctor we don't know much about her backstory. This meant show is meant to be for new people. Now, obviously, we as fans know about the backstory, but for new people, which is meant to, meant to be what this is all about, meant to be to help out the newbies. Newbies really don't have much of a clue what's probably going on when it comes to the Doctor's background and what the hell is a TARDIS. Answers to be on the back of a postcard, probably. Story, like I said, better than last week. Character-wise, a bit better than last week, but too companion-driven for me. The TARDIS itself, lovely to see it back, great. Interior, not so great. As for an episode, I'm going to give the Ghost Monument an 8.5 out of 10. So it's up 0.5 from last week. Better story, special effects, and not special effects, but the scenery, the locations were fantastic and well used. I'm just hoping that next week's Rosa Parks episode, being a bit of a history episode, is historic, historically accurate. To a certain extent, obviously, being Doctor Who, it can't always be perfect. But also actually shows Yaz in a bit more detail. The Doctor can tell her companions a little bit more about herself and where she came from. Because I'd like to see a bit about continuity and just make sure everything still works out from previous times. And I'd just like to, to see a full cast character story um, in all its glory, really. I'm going to have to watch it again, like I did last week, I'm going to watch it again. But this is, like I said, this is just an honest point of view video, Th two or three, well we're on eight minutes now, so the, the episode's been finished ten minutes, and there's me having a talk about it. I'll probably feel better after seeing it again, but I want to be honest with you guys, this is my honest opinion. Eight and a half out of ten, story good, location's good, characters could do better, I'd like to see, and like I said... Let's keep the Graham and Ryan story. And keep it going, but obviously just keep it referenced from time to time. Let's see a little bit more of Yaz. Let's see a little bit more of uh, the Doctor and knowing a bit about her backstory so to tell everybody else who's never seen who before. And less over-excessiveness of the Sonic. 
let me know about what you think in the comments below thank you so much if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up i'm just an honest guy giving an honest opinion okay I'm, like i said i'm gonna need to watch it again but leave your comments below i think i've managed to reply to everybody's comments who replied last week and let's have a bit of a chat about it if you like your reviews in the written word then check out a friend of this channel uh shireen hi shireen and read uh the blog reviews by shay uh, she did it last week, she's doing it again this week, and it's basically um, her written interpretation of what she thinks about this week's episode. Uh, it's good read, I read it last week and actually left a comment, so I hope you enjoyed that stream. Thank you very much for leaving a comment on my previous video. And just go and have a look, it's a, it's a really good in-depth opinion um, of what another viewer thinks, but in the written word. Thanks guys, take it easy, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and please give me a big thumbs up and I'm going to see you next week for episode 3, the Rosa Parks one, which I personally am looking forward to, bit of a history buff, I know a little bit about Rosa Parks, you know what I'm saying, so I'm looking forward to this one, 8.5 out of 10, can it get better?